A lot of heavy hearts in the broadcast and first responder communities. And our thoughts are with our many friends at Fox 2 tonight as well. Ron Savage, the station's popular weekend anchor and reporter, died this morning after suffering a heart attack. Ron collapsed following a training session with the Milford Fire Department this morning. He had planned to take part again in the fight for air climb at the Rensen tomorrow on behalf of the American Lung Association. For years, Ron served as a firefighter and EMT. It was one of the real passions in his life. Ron was also one of the really good guys in our business. He had an upbeat, positive way about him and greeted you warmly even while covering the most difficult and depressing of stories. I first met Ron back in 1980-81 while we both were working in Lansing. It was my first TV job while Ron worked on the radio side at WJIM. He was loud with a big personality and the big heart to match. I know all his colleagues at Fox 2 loved him and we share in their grief tonight. Ron was 63. He leaves behind his wife and their son. In a statement, WJBK General Manager Mike Renda said in part, Ron was a shining example of an individual who gave everything he had to his family, community, and to Fox 2. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends during this difficult time. And certainly all of us here at Broadcast House share those sentiments. Rest in peace, Ron. Some very sad news for us tonight. Longtime anchor and reporter at Fox 2, Ron Savage, died today. He suffered an apparent heart attack. Ron collapsed during a training session with the Milford Fire Department where he volunteered. He was planning to climb the stairs at the Renaissance Center tomorrow to raise money for charity. Ron Savage was an Emmy Award winning journalist and a decorated firefighter, and he was a friend to many people in our business. He is survived by his wife and son. Tonight, a moment of silence was held in honor of Ron Savage before the Clark Park Winter Hockey Classic. That's an event that supports the children of Southwest Detroit, and Ron was a big supporter of that event and many others in our community. Fox 2 has released a statement reading in part, Ron was a shining example of an individual who gave everything he had to his family, community, and to Fox 2. Tonight, our prayers are with the Savage family and our colleagues at Fox 2. Ron Savage was 63 years old. Fox 2 News. News that works for you. Starts now. Shock and grief here at Fox 2 tonight as we mourn the death of one of our own. Ron Savage passed away suddenly today. He was our co-worker and above all our friend. Fox 2's Camila Miri live now in front of the Milford Fire Department with more. Well, good evening. It's so hard to put this into words. Ron was doing a training exercise for the Milford Fire Department. It was routine. It was something he'd done many times. And unfortunately, it was going to be the last time. So much for winter, and that's gone. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> Feels more like April, maybe summer coming right we now. We are definitely <laughs> spoiled. Ron Savage, weekend anchor and reporter at Fox 2 and paid on call Milford firefighter, died on Saturday at the age of 63. Ron had just completed a routine search and rescue training exercise. These pictures taken just a short time before he collapsed. He was congratulating everybody in his group that they did successful completion and uh, with no issues stated or anything, uh, unfortunately he collapsed. Immediately it was recognized that Ron had a medical issue and immediately everybody went into action to get the rest of his gear off, to assess the situation, and to treat it as needed. But Chief Moore says there was nothing they could do. Ron had gone into cardiac arrest. He was pronounced dead at Huron Valley Hospital. I can't say enough about Ron. You know, Ron was a great person to have around. He was a great person to talk to. He was a great resource. Larger than life in stature and in personality, Ron was friends with everyone he met. When Ron spoke, um, you knew it. I mean, it was like Ron had a megaphone on him. Uh, there was there was no inside voice, at least not that I know of. Down to earth and humble, always compassionate. A high school boy with all the promise in the world is shot and killed. It's heart wrenching and horrible. But be advised, those lines, you never know if they're charged or not. We can tell by confirming with DTE that that severed line has no power in it. But it's very hot anyway, and you can see it smoking. Ron loved life, and it loved him right back. 
No one hurt. That's the best news. The power's out. We're on the west side of Detroit. Ron Savage, Fox 2 News. And tonight, our hearts go out to Ron's family, his friends, all of the viewers, all of us. Our hearts are breaking. There's really nothing else I can say, but he will be so missed. We loved him so much. And I'll send it back to you. Camille, you are so right. What an incredible man. What a real-life hero. What a great example for all of us. Camille, were there any warning signs that he had a heart problem? No, not at all. In fact, that was one of the things that's hard to put your head around and wrap around because I talked to the chief and he said that one of the things that all the firefighters have to do is do a rigorous physical. They go through all this testing. His was in August. He passed everything. EKG, no signs of anything at all. He was 63 years old, but we would never know it because he was in such good health. He was so full of life, so vigor. He worked seven days a week between the TV station and the fire department. Of course, he was a very active father and very active with all of his volunteering. But really, the chief made a good point. He said you could go through that physical and be perfectly healthy today, but that physical isn't going to say what's going to happen tomorrow or the next week or the next month. So, of course, the medical examiner will be doing an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death. But we do know right now that he his heart stopped and he, he just he never came back. Well, our hearts and prayers go out to Ron and his family and to his brothers at the Milford Fire Department as well. Camille, thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ron meant so much to so many people. He was so involved in the community and he touched so many lives in his 63 years. $250? Oh, That's very kind of you, very generous. Friday afternoon, Ron Savage working the phones for the Salvation Army, raising money for their bed and bread campaign. He was not only a fantastic journalist, but a true public servant. Hi, I'm Ron Savage here with my friends, Easter Seals Michigan Ambassadors, Gabby and Duncan. Ron gave so much of his time to volunteer work in the community. Each year, I'm seeing the American Lung Association's fight for air climb at the Renaissance Center. He was scheduled to be there Sunday morning. Savage was also a dedicated firefighter, most recently with Milford, but also served with Brighton and Walled Lake. He was a loving husband of 28 years to his wife, Mitzi, and an incredibly proud father. Well, you've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants. <laughs> Is that funny? That's Ron reading to his young son, Ronnie, now 15 years old, already an accomplished athlete, much like his dad. Ron Savage was born in Highland Park, grew up in Detroit and Fowlerville with his parents and four siblings. He played semi-pro football in Lansing, Memphis, and North Carolina. Well, the last time I played any organized football was 10 years ago with the Lansing Capitals of Michigan semi-pro team. And started at Fox 2 in 1999. He was a huge Detroit sports fan. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Another of Ron's passions, his support of local law enforcement. As the weekend anchor at Fox 2 for 18 years, he helped capture thousands of criminals through Michigan's Most Wanted. We need justice on this one. 18 years is a long time. Ron was truly larger than life. At six foot five with a booming voice and loud, infectious laugh, he was quick with a joke, a smile, and a compliment, constantly telling his co-workers, top job. When he started at Fox 2 in 1999, his first day covering a devastating fire and explosion at the Ford Rouge plant. I spoke with a family member of a victim here tonight. Just last week, he was memorializing the legendary Mike Illich. We're here on Woodward Avenue, and the message on the marquee at the Fox Theater, a life well lived. A life well lived is certainly fitting for Ron Savage as well. Top job, dear friend, and thank you for your service. You will be greatly missed. We've just heard from so many people who feel that way. Yes, indeed. So many, I mean, from all over the country and, of course, from right here at the station. Yes. Fox 2 General Manager Mike Renda released this statement on behalf of everyone here. Quote, we are shocked and saddened to hear of the passing of our colleague, Ron Savage. Ron was a shiny example of an individual who gave everything he had to his family, community, and to Fox 2. He was a consummate professional serving as both our weekend anchor and late evening reporter. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends at this difficult time. And Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard was one of Ron's good friends as well. Today he took to Twitter saying, quote, such a punch to the gut, kind, dedicated, and caring. We lost one of the good guys. Rest in peace, Ron. Sheriff Bouchard spoke with us on the phone earlier tonight. 
my condolences, prayers, and thoughts to his family, who he was incredibly passionate about. We spoke a lot about it. And to all of his co-workers, not only at Fox 2, but at the fire department in Milford, you know, I mean, he cared about both places deeply. It showed in everything he did. He was completely passionate about giving back to the community. He was our MC at different award days and fallen hero stuff. And, you know, you ask him something and he'd be there. And he always came with a, a smile and a warmth and a civility, you know, that seems to be sometimes too lacking in today's world. So true. And Sheriff Bouchard says he wants to recognize Ron Savage as a fallen hero. Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle knew Ron Savage for many years, and he says he'll always remember Ron as a great supporter of public safety. When you think about Ron, uh, not only was he a good reporter, uh, he was a great uh, public safety supporter. And uh, I know that firsthand from being in law enforcement all these years and watching him cover some of the stories that we've had. Uh, he was one of those guys, and one of the terms he always used was, you know, this is huge, that's huge, you're huge. You know, but you, you think of a guy like him, not only was he big in stature, uh, but big in personality. And uh, let's just face it, um, this is going to be a huge loss for, for many of us. He really was a, a true gentleman, and, you know, my, my condolences to the family. Michael says Ron connected with people from every walk of life and was passionate about everything he did. And the Detroit Police Department also tweeted out this message today, quote, Ron will always be remembered for his compassion and dedication, not only to Detroiters, but to all whose lives he touched, he will be missed. He touched so many lives, you know, I mean, from all these different walks of life, the people that he met, whose stories he covered, you know, all of those charities that he was involved with, certainly the firefighters, certainly his own uh, wife and his son, who he was yeah. so proud of. I mean, and, and all of us, I mean, we're heartbroken. No question about it. I mean, his personality filled the room. It filled the station. Whenever he came here, you knew he was here. Whenever he called your name, he always had a kind word. I never heard Ron any day speak in a mean or divisive way to anybody. No, no. I mean, he truly was the nicest guy you'd ever meet. No I mean, what, what you saw here was what, what you got everywhere. I mean, he was, he was that special. And he always had a way of lifting you up even in the most difficult times. Mm -hmm. Ron, we're going to miss you so much. Good evening, I'm Ron Savage. It's time to get the bad guys off the street. I'm joined live by law enforcement officers from all over Metro Detroit. They have with them pictures of suspects they want to take off the streets. So far, criminals have managed to escape capture, but tonight, you make a difference. You help bring them in. You know, this was something that was so important to Ron, and each and every Saturday night, this was Ron's time, his time to put the spotlight on fugitives who were Michigan's most wanted. And tonight, we spoke with several members of law enforcement. Here's how they are remembering Ron's efforts to help catch the bad guys. If these guys knock on your door tonight, you got a problem. I'm Ron Savage. There's a Metro Detroit manhunt going on. We'll take you along live. Not only a, a true gentleman, a, a true individual that was committed to the community, cared about the community, um, obviously involved in public safety as a, as a firefighter, uh, wanting to provide that service and protect this community. Um, this is one gentleman that's surely going to be missed. Good evening, I'm Ron Savage. It's time to get the bad guys off the street. I'm joined live by law enforcement officers from all over Metro Detroit. First time I ever talked to Ron on the phone, he was actually at a gas station robbery, uh, and he wanted to make sure that we received some information that he had just gotten from a citizen. So he called me up, and I remember I kept I was so giddy because I was talking to Ron Savage, right? I mean, I'd watch this guy on the news all these years doing, uh, you know, Detroit's Most Wanted and everything. And so uh, I made him actually repeat the information like three or four times because it took me a while to realize that I wasn't actually writing anything down. I was just so happy to be talking to Ron Savage, right? And he was just, he was, he actually kind of chuckled about it. He said, you want to repeat that one more time? And I'm like, no, Ron, I think I'm good. <laughs> 
at our state conference for Michigan police chiefs, uh, Ron, you know, going around uh, to just about every one of the police chiefs and so proudly introducing his wife and his son. He lived this passion. It was bigger than life. And uh, there was no denying how much he absolutely was so proud of his son. And, uh, and, and his son looking up at him, it was reciprocal. I recognize Fox TV and you in particular for your leadership in terms of, of helping to sponsor this and helping to apprehend a lot of really dangerous people. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. My first time meeting him, he you know, was telling me that he was you know, a volunteer firefighter and all the things that he had done and that uh, he was a great supporter of the folks in public safety and he he lived up to that. He was a guy that uh, always was willing to devote his time, his energy, and his talent to any effort that we had, whether it was a field day, a uh, graduation, uh, an award ceremony. He would lend his talent uh, to, to be a name that could kind of draw folks in. So he was just a very kind and generous spirit and uh, we will miss him dearly. Well, he really captured it, didn't he? I mean, yeah. the, the fact that he would drop everything and be there Absolutely. for whatever anyone needed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a really selfless individual. Well, Ron had a tremendous respect for law enforcement, not only for the fire department, but also for police officers and EMTs. Absolutely. Because he knew that, that these people were the first line of defense in our safety. And uh, they, in turn, respected him a great deal. Whenever they knew Ron would be hosting an event, they would turn out in greater numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, a lot of cops don't want to be uh, associated with us on in, in you know, photos or can <laughs> But let me tell you, everyone, they, everyone wanted a picture with Ron. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. He was everybody. that kind of guy. Yep. No he question sure about was. it. God, we were lucky to have him, weren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely.